today we're gonna get a beginner to rate Magic the Gathering cards. We are very lucky today to have my esteemed brother to rate a bunch of Magic cards for us today. Good morning. Good morning. Ah, oh, yes. Like so, <laughs> yeah, he's reading everyone in chat. So, here's the deal. Um, my brother's actually been watching me stream for eight years, but even... Despite that, he still thinks you can play enchantments at instant speed at end of turn. So, I mean, he's still basically a beginner. Stick to cards that are not from modern, and we can surely trick him. So, we're going to start it off. Commander cards are probably going to be pretty safe. Make sure to throw in some red herrings in there, people. We need good cards, but we need some awful cards as well. Mystic Remora. One blue enchantment. Cumulative upkeep of one. Do you know what that means? Every upkeep, it's going to cost one more. Yes, you have to pay one, and then next turn you gotta pay two, then next turn you gotta pay three, and if you can't pay it, then you have to sacrifice it. Whenever an opponent plays a non-creature spell, you may draw a card unless that player pays four. Is it any good or not? Yeah. Why? I mean, I, I mean assuming you hit all your land drops, you're gonna be able to play this thing every time, and, <laughs> and you're gonna draw a lot of cards. <laughs> I, you got it right, but I feel like you got it right for the wrong reason. It's like you're gonna you're gonna keep this around forever. I mean, you're gonna lose it at some point, but yes, you are going to draw a lot of cards. All right, so what do we got? King Ginger says the Viridian Revel. Viridian Revel. Illustrated by Ken Mayer Jr. All right, the Viridian Revel for a green, green, one generic. We have an enchantment. Whenever an artifact is put into an opponent's graveyard from the battlefield, you may draw a card. Whenever an artifact is put into an opponent's graveyard from the battlefield, you may draw a card. How often does that ever happen? This is terrible. <laughs> My brother's got like a pretty good competitive mindset here. I've never, I've never seen this interaction happen. You, you, well, usually you're just putting artifacts back in their hand. Well, yeah, I mean, this is the thing. Like, so uh, the, none, probably there's a lot of non. What's it called? Uh, I think you're right. This thing, this thing is. It's not. I've well, never, it's probably I, situational. I don't know. If you set up your deck to play this, this is going to be I great. Mean, like, I mean, you blow white, up all their artifacts. But in general, this is going to be really niche and Like, like I know there's garbage. white cards that, you know, destroy target artifact. But even then, I rarely ever see it. This plus Force of Vigor could be a powerhouse. But anyway, the setting that up is uh, not even worth it. All right, what yeah, next do we got? Me the Meat Hook Massacre. Meat Hook Thank God I know what it is, because it's not meat hook. We're not meeting anything. All right. So, Black Black X. A legendary enchantment. You can only have one of these in play at one time. The Meat Hook Massacre enters the battlefield. Each creature gets minus X, minus X until end of turn. Whenever a creature you control dies, each opponent loses one life. Whenever a creature an opponent control dies, you gain one life. This is pretty good. I mean, for three mana, it turns everything into a one-one, right? No, 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 no. It just gets minus X, minus X. Oh, so wait, it, well. it, it, it just drain like, like a Tarmogoyf goes from four or five to a three-four. Still not bad. And then you get, I w this is situational, but it's probably pretty good. What's your verdict? It's good. All right, it is good. I hope this doesn't. In I just realized, like, you can see if things are banned or not <laughs> uh, oh no I wasn't even looking there how do I how do I prevent you from seeing that I don't know that, how, that, 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 how would okay. that even that wouldn't even affect my decision what, what do I care okay, well so in, I mean I, if a card I, is banned sometimes it's banned because it's good you know no I wouldn't think that at all approaching calamity thanks so much for the super chat here you go your Pepsi thank next you Pepsi that I buy you which I usually buy you anyway it's, <laughs> apparently it was on approaching calamity Thank you. Okay, right, we got uh, a really nice, fun card, Hole Breacher from MG Fox. Hole Breacher. Oh, so far you're like three for three. That's actually not too bad. Blue two generic, three two oh, merfolk, merfolk pirate with flash. If an opponent would draw a card except the first one they draw in each of their draw steps, instead you create a tre you create a treasure token. You know what treasure token is? Yeah. Those are artifacts that you sack for mana. So they don't get to draw a card. They don't get to draw extra cards. Yeah. If so an opponent like, would draw uh, a card. Arbiter. 
Um, oh wait, no, that's the library. Yeah, yeah that's the library. library. Well, you can you can judge these and compare them to any <laughs> other cards you want. I don't care. You're the beginner around here. It's pretty. I mean, it's also you know a three two. Usually, oh yeah, usually those, those are so big in usually, the game. Usually, like abilities like that, when they're attached to a creature, the creature is usually pretty weak for their mana cost. But this mana cost is pretty equal to its power, so yeah, that's probably pretty good. Got it again. Actually, this is actually hyper broken in almost every format that it's played, except maybe vintage. I guess it's like fair and vintage or whatever. So this isn't. So that's not modern legal. Uh, no. <laughs> I, I, it's a wonder, when I play this in modern, probably, uh, it's a tough, it's a tough question to answer, tough question to answer. Uh, Memory Lapse by Beanpot, Memory Lapse. Bean. Alright, Memory Lapse, blue one generic instant, counter target spell, but if that spell is countered this way, you put it on top of its owner's library instead of that player's graveyard. Why would you just use Counterspell and get rid of it forever? <laughs> What's so good about this? It's a good question. Why That's wouldn't we use Counterspell and get rid of it forever? No, this is terrible. This is a fr your first <clears throat> dud. Memory Lapse is actually a pretty good... It's probably not as good as Counterspell, but you know what? It doesn't cost blue blue. It's actually a pretty strong card. You counter the spell, it does go back on top of its owner's library, which is effectively like card disadvantage because they're never gonna, you basically, you deal with the answer one. It's almost like remand. You deal with the card and on top of that, it, uh, you don't get to draw a card next turn. It's like counter target spell, they don't get to draw a card, even though it is something they're gonna draw anyway. You can draw, so it's not good when you're drawing, trying to hit like, a super powerful bomb, like must answer bomb, because you have to deal with that again the next turn, but it's really good for just hitting any random thing and delaying the game for one turn. Nah. He knows what Ren and Six is. So like if it's a if it's a big modern card, he's gonna know what this is. Like, you know, uh Yeah, I think you're gonna say something about Faithless Looting. Faithless Looting was busted. Yeah, exactly. Alright. Uh, Dark they gotta, Depths. I gotta bring it back. Let's look at Dark Depths. All right, it's a legendary snow land I that just... doesn't add mana. Enters the battlefield with 10 ice counters on it. Three mana, remove an ice counter from Dark Depths, and then if there are no ice counters on it, you gotta sacrifice it. If you do, oh, wow. create a big boy. Yeah, create a Merit Lage, a legendary 2020 black avatar creature token with flying and indestructible. Effectively, you have to pay 30 mana to pull this off. I'm sure. Does hardening scales work with this? No. Like you remove, remove. twice as much counters? No, 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 that's not how that works. Oh. And if anything, if you played, oh god, hardened scales would double the number of counters you got to put on it, right? Hold on, how does hardened scale? So it comes to play with ten ice counters, you just double it. No, it would just, it's just one more. It doesn't double, I saw it, I forget it, yeah, it's just, if you put that many counters, put one extra on it instead. So you'd put 11 on it. I, I, well, I, I can't. Not, not the way, not what you want to do. I can't think of any way to cheat getting more counters off it, so. I mean, if you can find a way, then that's amazing, yeah. Great card. I'm wondering why this big monster, if it's a snowman. You know what, I like it. You like it? <laughs> I do. It's actually, yeah, it's a busted card. There are really good cards to break this thing, like, um, for example, Vampire Hex Mage says, uh, sacrifice it, remove all counters from target permanent. Oh, so there's wow, actually quite okay, a few yeah, ways to cheat this way. super busted. Another way is, uh, Thespian Stage, which copies the thing, but the, so Thespian Stage will copy a land that's in play, but the thing is, it's already in play, so it's not going to get the ice counter, so it just turns into the Dark Depths with no counters, and then it instantly turns into a Merit Lage. Uh, okay, we, we've got uh, some Super Chats. Terastodon! Terastodon. It's a dino. No. Well, it not could be. Nice. No, big elephant. Uh, green, green, six generic for a 9-9 elephant. When Terastodon enters the battlefield, you may destroy up to three target non-creature permanents. For each permanent put into a graveyard this way, its controller creates a 3-3 three, three green elephant creature token. Hmm. The opponent gets tokens. 
which is stupid. How easy is it to ramp mana in Commander? Very. I guess they got a, mana what, crypt for crying out I loud. I guess that's what makes it fun. <laughs> I mean, if you can get to that mana pretty easily, then yeah, this sounds pretty good. Hmm. Nine, nine. You know what? I'm going to say it's fun. It's a fun card. It's a fun card? It's but is it, does it a good card? Yeah, it's probably pretty good. Card. All right, I think we get. You know what? This is a pretty good card. You know, by today's standards, usually you try to cheat this card into play. You're not actually trying to cast this for eight mana. If you're doing that, you're a chump. You could do that, but it's a pretty it's a pretty good card for that reason. You get to destroy anything you want, any permanence, blow up a planeswalker if you want to, but and you also have a nine nine creature. It's not bad. All right, we got Salty, the Salty Rad. With uh, this is an ex arena exclusive card, but rate this, please. Look up Oracle of the Alpha. All right, Oracle of the Alpha. It's a burb. It's a burb. Okay, blue two generic two three bird wizard flying. Whenever Oracle of the Alpha enters the battlefield, conjure the power nine into your library, then shuffle. What that means is it like creates. The power nine cards, Black Lotus, Mox, the Mox in. Don't tell that Time guy Mox. from uh, Takes Roadshow, he'll shit himself. Yeah. So anyway, <sighs> it, it will go into the library, like digitally, and then the deck gets shuffled. And when Oracle of the Alpha attacks, scry one. It's a two, three flyer. Yeah, I mean, why not? You're getting a Black Lotus, you're getting the Time Warp. It, you know, it goes in the deck, but it's not in your hand. Yeah, that's fine. It's still in there. All right. Yeah, yeah you got I mean, that one again. Well, where the... <laughs> Everyone... It's actually pretty interesting that they are now cannot cannot you know it's canon to call Power Nine within even the uh, you know the meta of it. <laughs> the meta of it. Oh, we have more super chats. Black Lo Black Lotus is, has no power in top. He knows what Black Lotus is, but anyway, thank you very much for the super chat. First live, a Queen Bay. Thank you so much for the super chat. And uh, Shivan Dragon. That was the original. You know what Shivan Dragon is? That was like uh, the one from way back, right? Red, red, four generic, five, five flyer. Pay a red. Shivan Dragon gets plus one, plus zero until end of turn. Like that was the Charizard of magic. That was the Charizard of magic. That's actually a good way of putting it. The Charizard of magic. Yeah, Oracle of the Alpha, exactly the card. He loves random stuff. So he's, <laughs> that, that was definitely up his alley. This has to be great. I'm sure there's better cards these days than Ship and Dragon. Nah, it's no good. You're right. This thing's trash by today's standards. This is terrible. All right, I'm going to get to your super chats, but I thought this was a really good one. The Shadowborn Apostle. We got... For a black, a 1-1 one, one creature, but here's the deal. A deck can have any number of cards named Shadowborn Apostle. Pay a black, sacrifice six creatures named Shadowborn Apostle, search your library for a demon creature card, and you can put it onto the battlefield. Then shuffle. You know, you can pair this with that one unglued card where you can rename any card name. <laughs> How well do you know unglued cards? I know that one. I mean, you know more than me at this point. I mean, then you could just have any number of, uh, you know, anything. Six. You have any nah, number? Nah, this is... It's, it's very situational, I think. Because you can only get a demon then, right? Yeah, but you could get any demon. You put yeah, directly I, onto I, I the battlefield. Know, I, I don't know all of them well enough. I don't know what's good, what's hot, what's not. I'm going to give this a thumbs down. Wow. I thought for sure we would trick him. He's doing insanely well. The, the, uh, if you could search for any card and put on... Okay, sure. <laughs> demon. You could put Grizzlebrand onto the battlefield. Grizzlebrand's a demon. I didn't know that. Wow, we should have tricked him. Told him about Grizzlebrand. You know what Grizzlebrand is. Oh, yeah, I didn't. That's a demon. Oh, uh, well, okay. Okay, we're gonna get to don't worry, we're gonna get to your super chats. I see you triple three and Henrik, but we gotta first thank our sponsors, FusionGamingOnline.com. I love Fusion Gaming because I get my singles from Fusion Gaming. My brother loves Fusion Gaming because he uses all my store credit on chips and soda mm -hmm. and other stuff. Yeah, huge fan of uh, the calf 
the what, the canteen that they have over there. Yeah, the cooler. Yeah, there's humility again. There's that humility. My brother, so he, he gives me a pile of bulk at Christmas, saying this is what came from like what, a donation center. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and he's like, I looked them all up. They're all garbage. And I look, and they see this humility, which is like sixty dollars. I was like, yeah, that's a good card. When you gotta, I you gotta relook up all those cards. You were probably looking up like the Magic the Gathering online price or something. No, no, uh, MTG Goldfish or MTG Stocks, one of those two. Yeah, but you, there's said, like when I looked up Humility, it said it was like fifty cents or something. No, there was the typo in there. Anyway, if you want to get your Humilities, if you want to humiliate yourself with Humility, you know where to get them. FusionGamingOnline.com. Fifteen percent off all Tempest Block singles. But if you want an additional five percent off, use coupon code Nikachu at checkout for. Well, 5% off, and it supports the channel. You're also going to thank Mandatrade. It's the premier place for renting Magic cards online. If you don't want to buy the cards, you want to just play any deck you want, you got to rent the cards. Rent an unlimited number of decks. It lets you play more decks and play them for cheaper. Because You can support the channel using my Mandatrader's link in the description below on Magic the Gathering Online, or use coupon code Nikachu underscore P9S for 10% off your first two months. Can't say that coupon code too quickly because uh sounds like something else. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually hands down the most popular coupon code. I should get uh match to give me more coupon codes like this. Yeah. P9 S. It's random. It's given to me randomly. I swear. I swear it's given to me randomly. Okay, uh what are our super chats here? Going start with Levy. Oh no, we got I got that one. Uh, triple three super chat. Thank you so much. The mental misstep. Okay, mental misstep. Uh, Frexian blue instant. Counter target spell with converted mana cost one. You know what Frexian blue yes, is? Yes, you right? play with you pay with two life. Yeah, you could you could pay with two life. So you can counter target spell with converted mana cost one. So you could counter that Cataxian Pro on turn one, couldn't you? Yeah, but that one's banned. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's the way of balancing the format. You use, you use the mental yeah, misstep yeah. to counter the uh, the attack. This is bro. absolutely hot. You're all tapped out, but you can still play with life. What are you going to counter? There's lots of one drops. You're right. You can counter all the one drops. You can counter the Raghavan, the Aether Vial, the ooh, uh, Dragon Rage Chandler. It's a very good card. Very, very good. You guys aren't. F ah! Let's see, Vendillion click. In Commander? Vendillion click. Blue, blue, Always one generic. Good. Huh? Always good. Yeah. I, the bro, I actually bought a few of these in Vegas in foil. Do I have them here? So hey, he's, he knows what Vendillion you, click is. There we go. Here's more my... than buying them, you play this card. Yeah, I play this card. Well, it was a super chat. I couldn't ignore it. I couldn't ignore the super chat. You'll have trouble tricking him if it's any card that you could see play in uh, modern. modern. Here's one of my favorites, the Desolation Angel. Love it. Thank you so much, Alex. Oops. Okay, we're looking at the Desolation Angel. Black, black, three generic. For a four, sorry, five, four angel with a kicker of white, white flying. When Desolation Angel comes into play, destroy all lands you control but if you paid the kicker cost destroy all lands instead no this sucks <laughs> <laughs> yeah you're right this thing does suck it's it's a funsy card i mean hey for seven mana it's like armageddon on a five four creature but you know there are better cards out there i mean if it was if it wasn't unilateral it would be good if it oh yeah just... like wipe out one side you would think yeah it'd be good? yeah that would be hot that would be amazing. My brother has, seems to have a, like a really good keen eye for the... Uh, you gotta like pull out some cards. To trick him, you gotta pull out some cards that are really good in like exclusively Commander. Flo Nino with the super chat. Sarah Angel. We got Sarah Angel over here. White, white, three generic for a four, four angel. Flying and Vigilance means it doesn't you know what vigilance is doesn't tap uh, it has attack. a tap to attack yeah. yeah yeah i mean seems it's it's just a it's you know it's good it's good <laughs> this is terrible five mana for a four four creature murktide does more but, than this but it's flying <laughs> 
flying the most... Yeah. I did not think that this was the card that was going to trick my brother. That was... I did not have that on my bingo if card it, today. If, if it didn't have flying, I would say it's, you know... But those two abilities attached to it for that mana cost... Yeah. Why isn't it good? <laughs> it's just too much for... It's just too expensive for too little. No one will play this card by today's standards. All right, we got Nick. We got Nick here. Cosima, God of the Voyage. Cosima, God of the Voyage. Who? Okay, well, after we screwed up that last one, I mean, you could name any cards for all I know. It'll work. Legendary creature. Okay, we got a legendary. We got a legendary here. Cosima, God of the Voyage. Blue, two generic. It's a god. For a 2 4 god. Uh, at the beginning of your upkeep, you may exile Cosima. If you do, it gains whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control. If Cosima is exiled, you may put a voyage counter on it. If you don't, return Cosima to the battlefield with X, plus one, plus one counters on it, and draw X cards where X is the number of voyage counters on it. And uh, we turn it over. Whenever a vehicle. vehicle how, do you, how do you actually. Oh, you can just play the other side. So the other side is just a vehicle, a 3-3 that you can crew for one. You know what crew means, right? Uh, tap smuggler's a creature. Smuggler's copter. Yeah, like, but tap, uh, tap yeah, a creature yeah, yeah, with that yeah, yeah, much power. So whenever a vehicle you control deals combat damage to a player, that player exiles that many cards from the top of their library. You may play the lands from among those cards for as long as they remain exiled. Kusima, God of the Voyage. But you may play their lands? Yes. That's great. So, if it, uh, whenever you control... Yeah, but you don't get any extra land drops. You may play lands from among those cards as long as they remain exiled. So you still have to play one land per turn. Mm. Okay, that's not... But, it's, I mean, it's, it's milling their land. It's milling a lot of things, in fact. <laughs> well, I like the cop... I like... Well, I like the other... I like the vehicle. He, liked, he likes the vehicle. Because it's a good ability. And it's cheap. It's only two for a three-three, and you only need to crew one. With a lot of these vehicles, you got to crew like five things into it. This side I like. I don't know about the other side though. Well, uh, okay. But let's just judge it. Let's let's just judge it on this side. I mean, I think this is, this is crap. <laughs> Why do you want to la exile their lands? You just play your own lands. I mean, it's card advantage to some degree, but I would just prefer a smuggler's copter i might be wrong about this card i don't even know what the power level of this card is i think it looks like janky nonsense like if your opponents are just doing nothing like i don't know maybe it's fine as a commander at the beginning of your upkeep this is a card i don't even know what do you guys think is this supposed to be busted or not it looks like char trash to me though they're underwater they're, yeah they're underwater all right you let me know in the comment section we, i'm gonna keep moving on with the super chats We've got, uh, next... I got all the other Super Chats, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I did. Uh, Orca the Alpha is OP. That's absolutely right. Imagine playing four of him with blink effects, drawing 60 cards and playing 30 Moxes or Lotuses in a turn is pretty good. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Salty Red. Uh, Finale of Revelation by Zebra... Zebra Striped YouTube. Or YT. Okay, Finale of Revelation. Oops. Blue, blue, X. Sorcery. Draw X cards. If X is 10 or more, instead shuffle your graveyard into your library. Draw X cards. Untap up to 5 lands and you have no maximum hand size for the rest of the game. Exile. Finale of Revelation. Yeah, I mean, why not? I would say this is a good card. This is like an okay card. It's good. Draw X card. Now I gotta rate this card. Two blue and then... It's I like, you're right. It's not bad. Like, this is like in some like weird world of... It's not... Like, I don't want to say this is bad, but it's not that great either. It's like, it's... I guess this is like, it's good for command... It's good for commander. So I'll give it... I'll give it the thumbs up for that. I'll give it a thumbs up. It'd be better if it was an instant. I don't really like the card, but I know for commander it's like, it's okay. All right, we got uh, Field of the Dead. You recognize this card? It's banned. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> so is it good? For what? <laughs> Ten mana for Yeah, one my brother knows what this token. card is. Whenever the another, whenever Field this, of the Dead. This card was busted. See, that's a problem. Now it's a modern. That was a modern card. It's not a modern card anymore, technically. All right, Levy with. Uh, we've got. 
What's it called? Sensei's Divining Top? Which is also banned. But in what format? For what reason? Okay, hold on. Let's just get this out of the way. It's banned because people take too long to play with the card. It's not banned because it was good. It was banned because people take too long to play with the card. But do you know what this card does? Look at the top three cards you're live in from the back of the world. Isn't that like a brainstorm? No, because you don't put them into your hand. Brainstorm is great because you draw the cards. This is, and this is why people waste too much time with this, because every single turn people were playing, paying one. So then you tap, draw a card. You could draw a card, but you have to tap and draw a card, and you have to put the, the top back on top of your library. Yeah, this was probably this was probably hot. Yeah, it was a good card. It was a good one. People aren't even trying to get him. Not even trying to get him. Okay, hold on. Let's say Aladdin. Uh, What's Aladdin? Jay Gaston with empty the pits. Empty the pits a big for man black, of black, 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 black XX. In it's instant with delve, so you can exile cards from your graveyard to pay for X. Uh, put X two two black zombie creature tokens onto the battlefield tapped. Well, black does like to put things in the graveyard. Yes, pays for the delve real fast. Uh, I mean, but why wouldn't you just want to play Field of the Dead? Well, <laughs> <laughs> might be banned in the well. Field of the Dead requires you putting like you could be a mono black deck playing this. Field of the Dead requires you to play with like a million different lands, of different names. Uh, even my Merfolk deck can't even play Field of the Dead. I mean, you could probably spin a whole deck around this. Yeah, sure. Yeah, this card's garbage. <laughs> it's, it's not really worth it. The mana cost is insanely expensive, and uh, you'll barely get this thing off. The, what, like, how many tokens do you expect to make off of this thing for all the cards that you exile? There's way better uh, uh, zombie cards, we'll just say. Flonino's back. The Golden Throne for Commander Games. Thank you so much for the super chat. Trump had a golden throne toilet. Yeah, the, the Golden Throne, your toilet. Okay, the Golden Throne, four mana, uh, legendary artifact. There are like a more, this is only for Warhammer. I don't even know this card. Uh, arcane life support. If you would lose the game, instead exile the Golden Throne and your life total becomes one. So it's like a- Yeah, hey, that's pretty good. And a thousand souls die every day. Sacrifice a creature, add three mana in any combination of colors. Sacrifice one creature, add three mana in any combination of colors. This is good. This is good. I have no idea if this is good or not. I think this is garbage. It looks like that. I could be wrong. This is basically a pro player and an amateur looking at this card. No, I mean, I'm not a damn clue. Like this is this is like guts and earthbound. You get you, you still lose the game. <laughs> You're just gonna come back with one life. Really? Well, you lose the game. It's a, well, I guess if you would lose the game instead, exile in your life till it becomes one. Yeah. This is like Guts and Earthbound, where if you get a critical hit, you might still survive with one. Oh, I see. It's good. It's very good. Anyway, I think it's bad. I think I think it's rubbish. I mean, they could destroy this thing and then kill you, so that would work. Uh, what do we got here? We've got Salty Rat again with the super chat. Possibility Storm. <laughs> Possibility Storm. Red, red. Three generic enchantment. Whenever a player casts a spell from his or her hand, that player exiles it, then exiles cards from the top of his or her library until he or she exiles a card that shares a card type with it. That player may cast the card without paying its mana cost. Then he or she puts all cards exiled with Possibility Storm on the bottom of his or her library in a random order. Too many words. This sucks. <laughs> I, think in the, I think in the right deck this is supposed to be good. Whenever a player casts a spell from his or her hand, that player exiles. Like it is a gar, it's a, it is a, like a bit of a garbage card. Okay, I'll just give it to you. Then exiles cards. So you it's start. like a, it's a funzy card if you're if you have the right deck. But in general, like you know, it's it not shares. a, it's not a competitive card. She has a card type with it. So this is some, this is like a really crappy uh, madcap experimenter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I like this one for, from Lauren Harris. All right, we got mystical tutor. Okay, Mystical Tutor, a blue instant. Search your library for an instant or sorcery card and reveal that card. Shuffle your library and then you put the card on top. Only, yeah, why only not? Only instants and sorceries. It's great. It's great. 
Why? Well, you can search for exactly what you want. You shuffle the deck. I love shuffling the deck. <laughs> you should be able to shuffle. You should be able to shuffle your deck at any time. I think this. These are the wrong reasons for deciding <laughs> that this card is good. But sure, whatever. Okay, we got Crimson, uh, Crimson Wolf, Form of the Dragon. You should be able to call a judge and say, "I want to shuffle my deck at any time." Form of the Dragon, red, 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 for generic enchantment. At the beginning of your upkeep, Form of the Dragon deals 5 damage to target creature or player. At the end of each turn, your life total becomes 5. Creatures without flying can't attack you. At the end of each turn. But then when it goes back to your turn, it returns to what it used to be? No, at the end of each turn, your life total becomes 5. I mean that's pretty hot, but that's a, that's a pretty high mana cost. We got him. We got him thinking. We got him thinking. The beginning of your upkeep. The mana cost is too high. Yeah. The but at the same at the, the same dragon. time, though, I've been saying that other things with equal mana cost are also good. I don't know how hard it is to get to that level of mana in Commander. In modern, this would be garbage. But maybe it's really good in Commander. It's a great that's a great ability. Five five damage every turn. <laughs> they have forty life each. Oh, I didn't know that. I thought it was twenty. Creatures without flying can't attack you. You know what? There's more good than bad. I'm gonna say this is good. Wow, actually that's amazing. You sniff that one out. It's Actually, this sees some play in modern. The whole deal is you have to re you have to cheat this in play. Like you have to look at it like a grizzle brand, and so it's like it's it's not, I I don't know. Some of you are going to be thinking like, why am I saying it's good? If you can cheat this in play, it's pretty good. So you're like you basically, or I don't know, is this bad? Well, maybe I'm confusing this with another card. Creatures you control, creatures without flying can't attack you. Like that is a very very strong effect. And then this combined this with a lot of other enchantments, it's like just basically impossible for anyone to attack you. Anyway, I don't know, maybe someone will be surprised me giving this the thumbs up, but actually uh, I think it's a pretty good card to cheat and play. Okay, we got uh, Crow Core Games. Thanks so much for the super chat. The Golden Ciao. Throne doesn't work in commander damage. It checks for 21 exiles, then checks again, and you lose the game. Oh, you mean, uh, well, okay, it, it, it won't work for commander damage, but it will work for regular damage. Correct, though. You are right. All right, Approaching Calamity. Thanks so much for the super chat. My, real, my bro wants a rating for Soothsaying. Soothsaying. I love it. Soothsaying. One blue. It's an enchantment. You can pay <laughs> five mana. Blue, blue, three generic. Shuffle <laughs> your library. <laughs> I mean, you could also pay X. Look at the top X cards of your, uh, of your library and put them back in any order. That's hot. This is great. You get to shuffle your library. <laughs> this is a really expensive effect for this. I guess this is a really popular commander card, but this is not. There's better cards out there that can be. I mean, just play Sensei's Divining Although, Top. I think you should be able to shuffle your library. I don't know, like, is this th better than I'm giving it credit for? It doesn't do anything. The shuffle library thing is disgusting. I guess I guess it's like a poor man's sensei's divining top. I wonder how many people in the comment section are going to judge how I rated all these cards. It's an alternate title. Modern player rates commander cards. Yagmas Bargain? Oh, training grounds. That's what the green circle... Oh, you remember. Okay, yeah, blue. Yeah. Enchantment. Activated abilities of creatures you control cost up to two less to activate. This effect can't reduce the amount of mana and ability, ability cost to activate less than one mana. Yeah, of course. This is amazing. That stacks. He doesn't... Okay, I think he only knows this card is good because I told him to look through all my bulk for this card. No, no. That's just a great thing. I mean... There's no way you got this. No, no. Less... Two less for one... And you can easily stack it. Activated abilities won't cost anything. We can't. It's hard to stack in Commander because you can only play one of these cards. And no one sees that this card doesn't see any play in Modern. Oh right, you can only get one of each in Commander, right? That's right. Oh, there's there was such a good card suggested. I want to see it. Uh, Merit Lage's Slumber. I love this one. Uh, Tura Yawat. 
Okay, Merit Lage is Slumber. It's a blue, one generic, leg cool. legendary snow enchantment. No, it's Merit Lage. Whenever Merit Lage is Slumber or another snow permanent enters the battlefield under your control, you get to scry one. But here's the deal. At the beginning of your upkeep, if you control 10 or more snow permanents, sacrifice Mage's, Mage, Merit Lage is Slumber. If you do, create Merit Lage, a legendary 2020 black avatar creature token with flying and indestructible. Didn't we see this guy earlier? Yes. This is the, the snow version. This is like ah. the enchantment version of the land. But the, the gimmick here is you have to get 10 snow permanents in play. And if you do that, uh, at the beginning of your upkeep, you get to sack it and that create your way easier to do than the other one with the counters. Mm -hmm. This is hot. This is very good. This is card's trash. No one sees no play anywhere whatsoever. It's actually harder because there's no, well, there's no way to cheat this thing. It's harder to cheat 10 snow permanents in play. And if you can do that, you could probably could do a whole lot of other stuff. Is a snow land a permanent? Yeah. Well, I mean, uh, yeah, Snow Land is a snow permanent. Then. Absolutely. Probably get this thing online in less than 10 turns. Alright, Salty Rad. Thanks so much, Super Chat. Garuda, Doom of Deaths. Garuda! Alright, we got uh, the hybrid Demir Demir, four generic, 6-6. Six, six. It's Demir. a companion. Everything looks like Emrakul to you. It's got tentacles. It's Emrakul. That's right. Your starting deck, uh, cont if you want to use it as your companion, you don't have to. Your starting deck cont contains only cards with even converted mana costs. Oh, that's when that uh, cat garbage. Well, yeah, Lurus, Yorian. Yeah, when Gyruda enters the battlefield, each player puts the top four cards of their library into their graveyard. Put a creature card with an even converted mana cost from among those cards onto the battlefield under your control. Nah, that's a very weak ability. That's dumb. Very expensive for a poor ability. No good. No good? It's actually not too bad. There's actually there's actually quite a You know what? I wouldn't Four say this cards. this card has completely taken over, but like there are combo decks that are built around this card. Uh doesn't this see play some play in Legacy? I know there was like a lot of modern decks try to be built around this. It's not the most amazing card. But there are decks built around this, With if I'm a not mistaken. Creature card, you only get the one. Gyruda is busted in Commander. Okay, so it's even better in Commander than uh, I even knew. Because, I mean, Grizzlebrand is odd. Okay, so I'm... Um, commander cost. Uh, there's some um, super... Okay, hold on. Let's scramble verse. Kept from Castlegate. Scramble verse. From Milton Bradley. So, red, red, six generic, sorcery. For each non-land permanent, choose a player at all random then each player gains control of each permanent for which he or she was chosen untap those permanents what <laughs> okay so for each non-land permanent so anything but your lands so for each card like a creature enchantment artifact we got to choose a player at random then each player gains control of each permanent for which he or she was chosen so like everyone's stuff is going to be reassigned to somebody else that is pretty weird at random also there's chess pieces in the art. It looks like chess pieces. I'm sure it's chess pieces. Weird hand. Mm. Can't tell which one's the index finger. Yeah, they're all the same length. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a funzy card. I like it. Yeah, but it's bad. It's terrible. <laughs> it has no strategic significance. We're just gonna like roll some dice and yeah, like... Yeah, and then everything becomes word. weird. Yeah, everything becomes weird. But that doesn't make the card good. Just makes It just makes it weird. Okay, we got uh, Crowcore Games, Xenagos the Re Reveler, Xenagos the Reveler. So red, green, two generic for a uh, three loyalty planeswalker, plus one, add X in any combination of red or green, where X is the number of creatures you control. Mm. You can pay zero, create a two, two red and green satyr creature token with haste, mm. or you can go minus six, exile the top seven cards of your library. You may put any number of creature and or land cards from among them onto the battlefield. Yeah, this is very good, actually. This is almost up there with that uh, elk guy that got banned and everything. Whoa, you're comparing this to Oko? For that, we're definitely going to give it the X. That is not Oko power level whatsoever. This is like a card, but it's not like great or anything. I think it's pretty good. I think it's and just X a card, mana, in my opinion. Right 
You probably got a few creatures on the battlefield by then, so you can. Or you might. Well, you might have got one. mana ramp. It generates creatures, and then you can uh, probably you can get to six very easily. For four mana, I expect more out of this thing. Salty Rod with the super chat. Uh, yeah, you play a bunch of even cost clones. Oh, you're talking about Guy Ruda. Yeah, absolutely. We got uh, MG Fox, White Plume Adventurer. White Plume Adventurer. White 2 Generic, Orc Cleric. It's a 3-3. Three, three. When it airs the battlefield, you take the initiative. At the beginning, do you know what the initiative is? I actually don't really know. I think at the end of your turn, you draw a card. So long as you you you, you are the one attacking. I I don't remember because I don't see the initiative in modern. I see it in legacy, but I don't play legacy. At the beginning of each opponent's upkeep, untap a creature you control. If you've completed a dungeon, untap all creatures you control instead. I, see, I sometimes see these dungeon cards come up on the Twitter feed. They should bring. Is, is that in modern the dungeon thing or no? Oh, I'm thinking of Monarch. What's the initiative then? Oh, you venture into the dungeon. That's right. Okay, you go into the dungeon. There's dungeon. You, are you familiar with the dungeons? I, I, sometimes people put up parody ones on Twitter and it comes up on my feed. <laughs> parody dungeons? Okay, you venture into... Is, in, is, is that in modern though? Or is that no? The dungeon yeah, card. yeah, we have dungeons in modern. We just don't have very good dungeon cards. I never see it on MTG. I'm, get, I'm getting to... Oh, did I stone miss such a super chat? Okay, I'll get back to you. I'll get back to you. I'm moving back. Oh, yeah, I see. I see. Yeah, I missed one. Got you, Josh. We'll get you, Josh. Hmm. Nah, I don't like it. You don't like it? I don't know. Is this card good? It takes the initiative. The beginning of each opponent's <laughs> upkeep. Danger. I don't know if it's danger or not. Because <laughs> I don't remember. Okay, at the beginning of each opponent's upkeep. I think it's danger. I don't know. What did you say? It's no good. No good. You have to complete a dungeon to untap all. Yeah, but creatures. you would, you you take the initiative. You're venturing into the dungeon. It's mid. Okay, for in that case, we'll say my brother's right. It's a, it's either good or it's not good. That's how I'm rating this thing. All right, so we've got uh, Josh's super chat. Where's Josh here? Taking me to the library, Josh. Okay, we're going we're going with Josh's super chat. Uh, we'll go with Platinum Angel. Platinum Angel is dope. You can't win the game and you can't lose the game. Okay, you know this card. Yeah, I mean, this is... Can't lose the game and your opponents can't win the game. You used to hate this thing. Until so Merfolk Tricks came around. So what do you think of this card? Yeah, it's great. When it's great, it's great. It's terrible. It just dies to anything. <laughs> yeah, it be yeah, it beats me, but like that's why people keep playing this card. <laughs> it's like, oh, I beat that stupid Merfolk player. Couldn't do anything about it at the time, and now I, even I can beat this card now with things like Merfolk Trickster. <laughs> it's mid? Terrible thing. Initiative, initiative is Oko busted, my guy. So it's busted in Legacy? Okay, so we're going to go back and say that uh, you were wrong about this one. So this one this one was good, too. I mean, I don't. I really have no idea how to evaluate this card. Is this is this one of those stupid creatures that are played in Legacy? In the like, stupid mono-white stompy deck? I'm not. I'm not really paying attention to uh, the legacy meta game. Like, doesn't it take like ten turns to complete a dungeon? No, not necessarily. And the dungeon gets you a lot of value here and there. All right, what do we got here? Uh, Alpha Nerd, thanks so much for the super chat. Dragon Mage. Dragon. We got a Dragon Mage. Red, red, five generic for a five-five dragon. Flying. When Dragon Mage deals combat damage to a player, each player discards their hand and draws seven cards. Yeah, this is great. <laughs> I think it's really good. This actually is really good for a dragon, but I'm still going to give it the buzzer because it's not... It's like, it still costs too much mana. If you can pull this off, and also, by the way, you can still help your opponents draw a bunch of cards. So you have to really be able to take advantage of those seven cards and kill your opponent before they kill you. So I think like this is like good for funsies, but I, like objectively, I don't think it's really that good. I mean, it's basically Wheel of Fortune every turn. It is Wheel of Fortune. Yes, it is Wheel of Fortune every turn. Imagine if, if, you... if it smacks, it has to deal combat damage to someone, yeah. and you have to get this thing to resolve. Imagine if you had opened a Wheel of Fortune. And it doesn't. The... And it Vegas. doesn't die. Procore Games. I use Xano in a token deck, not say non-token. Well, that's true. 
It's a true story. Thank you so much for the super chat. Oh, I like this one. Frexian Negator. Is that Richard Garfield in his avatar? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we got Frexian Negator here. Black 2 generic 5-5. Five, five. Horror Trample. When Frexian Negator is dealt damage, sacrifice that many permanents. It's a reserve list card. That sounds card. like a Robo Rosewater way of wording it. <laughs> it should say whenever Frexian Negator is dealt damage... Sacrifice that many permits equal to the damage that was dealt? That's correct. It's a 5-5 five, five Trampler for 3 mana. Yeah, I imagine this is very busted. Yeah, is dealt. If you bolt this thing, you have to like sacrifice that many like lands and creatures. You might just end up losing this thing on the spot. If it's dealt any damage, you sack, you sack that much stuff. Oh, of your own. Yeah, of your own. <laughs> oh, wait, no, no. I thought it was the opponent's. <laughs> oh, no, there, there is a card like that, anyway. Okay, I see. That's 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 the balance, then, for why it's so cheap and strong. Yeah, that's why it's so cheap and strong. It's correct. Gregory with Live Through Prey. Sorry, Live Up Pro. Li Lure of Prey. Lure of Prey. When are we going to get the song, The Hedgehog Secret Lair? I don't know. Okay, uh, we've got... Lure of Prey, green, green, two generic, instant. Play only if an opponent successfully casts a summon spell. What the hell? Okay, hold on. I'm just going to read the oracle text. Cast a spell only if an opponent casts a creature spell this turn. You may put a green creature card from your hand onto the battlefield. So you could put Primeval Titan. Could pr pl you could play Primeval Titan. That's right. For very cheap. Yeah, it's very good. I'm sure this is great. I don't get this. I've never heard of this card, but this card looks, this card does look great. Put a green creature card from your hand, green creature card from your hand onto the battlefield. I think this card is good. What is the catch here? Cast only a spell if an opponent cast a creature spell this turn. I don't get it. Why is it $3 and it's a reserveless card? There's got to be a catch that I'm missing here. It's an instant. Play only... A, like, your opponent will play a spell, whatever, and then after they play a spell, put a green... You may put a green creature card from your hand onto the battlefield. I don't... Like, I, I don't... I really am just blown away. This is a reserveless card. This looks like a card that should be worth $100 to me, in my opinion. And it's three dollars. This is the cheapest, most powerful reserve list card I've ever seen. This is not. A, there are way crappier reserve list cards out there that are way more expensive than this. The commander doesn't know that it exists. That's why it's three dollars. I guess so. Lure of prey. Buy up your. Go get. Go to fusion and buy out all their. Lure. I'm gonna buy up all the lure of prey. This card is insane. It's absolutely. Yeah, you can put like a progenitus in play. This is really, really... I mean, it's not going to see play in Legacy or anything like that. It depends, you know, on too much on your opponent, like, you know, putting a creature in play. But someone's going to put a creature in play. And you can just, like, cheat something in play. I think this is... I think it's pretty good. This uh, Jacob guy's been... Oh, you know what? Oh, I know what the catch is. You have to put... You have to put it from your hand, so it's not tutoring it from the library. But that's still not bad. Uh, uh, I don't think I'm... I rise, of, rise of the Dark Realm. Yeah, Jacob's trying really hard. Okay. Let's see this thing. Rise of the... Dark realm. He's hyping it up. Yeah. Jacob's also helping the algorithm here. All right. Black, black, seven generic sorcery. Put all creature cards from all graveyards onto the battlefield under your control. Black, black, seven generic. Don't worry. I'll, yeah, go, I'll, great. Go, I'll go back to the it's super great. chats. All creatures. Oh, you got to have. Control. We have a lot of super chats here, huh? Yeah. I'm giving this one a thumbs up for sure. Yeah, this card is actually pretty good. I mean, it's not going to see play in like a competitive format, but in Commander, this is insane. In the late game, you basically just take over. Maybe it's like, it's it's over, it's OP in Casual Commander. We'll just put it that way. It's OP in Casual Commander. <sighs> Crocore Games, again, Binder with the super chat. Dihada, Binder of Wills. We got Planeswalker, black, white, red, one generic for five loyalty. Up to one target legendary creature gains vigilance, lifelink, and indestructible until your next turn. You can also go minus three. Reveal the top four cards of your library. Put any number of legendary 
Cards from among them into your hand and the rest into your graveyard. Create a treasure token for each card put into your graveyard this way. You can also go minus 11. Gain control of all non-land permanents until end of turn. Untap them, they gain haste until end of turn. And also, Dehada can be your commander. Not all, not all Planeswalkers are allowed to be your commander. It's mid. It's mid? I don't know. Hmm. One target legendary creature. If it wasn't if it, if it wasn't the legendary thing, I'd say this is really good. If it wasn't for the legendary thing? Yeah, I mean, if it could just be any creature, why not? Yeah, you know, I'm gonna give you the. This is not that great. Like, you get one minus three, and then it's gonna you're gonna dump it. The minus three is actually not too bad, but the plus two actually still sucks. If it could be any creature, I feel, still think it's very underwhelming. Although it is indestructible until the next turn. It's it's run in a le in legendary tribal. I don't think it's it's like it's okay. Oh, the minus eleven wins. Game. Well, any there's a lot of ultimates that just wins games. Gain control of all non land permits until end of turn. Untap them, they gain haste until end of turn. I always think those are overrated abilities. Ugh. <laughs> Urza Saga. This con this content shoot a money. Thank you so much for the super chat triple three. familiar with this card i like it because it dies to tide but i know i mean uh spreading seas or spreading, tide shaper tide shaper not tide so wait, how, how good do you think this card is it's, an, it's very annoying so it must be good there we go you're right it's a modern card super popular modern card so you would know this one we got merfolk mistbinder those constructs they get strong fast that's right all right, Merfolk Mistbinder. A blue and a green for a 2-2. Other Merfolk you control get plus one, plus one. It sucks because it's not blue-blue. <laughs> it should have... You're it, right for the wrong reasons. It should have been uh, just a blue card. We got uh, Garrett Ber Gerbil. Chaos Sphere. When they went down that Simic arc for all the Merfolk creatures, that was a bad idea. Red 2 generic, enchant world. Creatures without flying cannot block creatures without flying. And creatures without flying can block creatures with flying. Yeah, it flips everything around. It's good. <clears throat> this is terrible. I mean, yeah, it's 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 a fun gimmick, but that doesn't mean the card is good. It's, it's just a fun gimmick. Just flipping it, doing the flip floppity. Creatures with flying cannot block creatures without flying, and then creatures without flying can block. What a weird, weird, awkward world this is. Josh Karen. Uh, Bolus's Citadel. All right, black, black, black. Three generic, legendary artifact. Mm. You may look at the top card of your library anytime. You may play the top card of your library. If you cast a spell this way, pay life equal to its converted mana cost rather than paying its mana cost. And you can tap it, sacrifice 10 non-land permanents. Each opponent loses 10 life. I could just have the uh, Lantern of Insight for one for the first ability. But you don't get the second ability with Lantern of Insight. And it turns out very Look, my brother's trying to combo with Lantern of Insight. <laughs> His brain is tinkering with the possibilities here. Have you ever seen this card being played in Lantern Control? Never. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying, if I want to see the top card, I could just play Lantern of Insight for one. This is such a good card. We're definitely going to choose this one. The thing is, though, is that you can also pay with life. You can pay with life. You know what? Not, I, qu not I, quite an infinite resource. Though. I do like it. Maybe it's a bit pricey in mana cost, but I do like it. I what? think it's great. That's actually yeah. This card is actually broken. It's actually one of the most powerful artifacts in the game. And you, you, the idea is you play this in a deck with like just a bunch of zero mana artifacts or very very oh, okay. cheap cards, and you can like sift through your deck really really quickly. Ideally, you do that so you can like go through your deck like super fast, and then you know combo off or something. Uh, like okay, hold on. I want to get through this. This City of Traders is a great suggestion. City of Traders, a land. Like Vegas. So here's the deal. You can tap it to add two generic mana to your mana pool. 
but there's a catch. When you, whenever you play another land, sacrifice City of Traders. It sucks. <laughs> exactly one of the most broken lands. You, I mean, ideally you just like, it's cause it's, you do have to sack it if you play any more lands, but um, this two extra mana is like way, way too good very early on in the game. I, ideally you play it as your second or third land drop and then you don't even care what you do after that. You just want to, it's like a, it's like a soul ring on a land basically. The city of traders. That was a good one. That was a good one. That's a Trixie. I knew that was going to be a Trixie one to understand. Okay, we've got Grant here. What if you were to cast a land, though? Huh? You can't... You can't cast lands. Okay, Greater Gargadon. The Greater Gargadon. I think you might have seen one of these cards before. Yeah. Red, 9 generic, 9, 7. With suspend, 10. Sack an artifact, creature, or land. Remove a time counter from Greater Gargadon. Activate only if Greater Gargadon is suspended. Also, keep in mind, it is a creature. So when it comes off suspend, it gets haste. Yeah, that's, it's great. That, that's not something that is always acknowledged on the card. It's great because it's going to feel great if you can actually get through 10 turns. <laughs> this card is terrible. I know people try to make this card work, but it's not It's not good. It, it don't work. Okay, we've got a lot of Super Chats to go through. Uh, Indomitable Archangel. Indomitable Archangel. A snowman. Is it a snowman? No. Okay, white, white, two generic. Angel, flying, four, four, metal craft. Artifacts you control have shroud, as long as you control three or more artifacts. You know metal craft. You, you have three artifacts. That mox thing has the metal craft. Yeah, so anyway, it's flying. Um, that's right. So if you have three or more artifacts. Uh, oh, so artifacts you control have shroud, so long as you control three or more artifacts. Which means that they can't be uh, targeted? That's correct. Your artifacts cannot be targeted if you have three or more artifacts while this angel is on the battlefield. Nah. I don't think that's great. You're right. This is... I don't know. That's a weird card. That's such a weird card. Uh, an angel that makes your artifacts, like, basically indestructible. Flo Nino with the super chat. Seed time. Uh, baby... baby time. Seed time? Is that... Or is it time walk that they wanted? Seed time? Oh, the baby time walk. Seed time. Green, one generic. Play seed time only during your turn. Take an extra turn after this one if an opponent played a blue spell this turn. Hmm. Yeah, it's good. I think it's pretty good. I think it's pretty good, too. It's a little situational, but yeah, you can almost count on somebody uh, playing blue cards you know, at your table. So they're going to interact with you. And then if it is a bit situational... But I think it's like, it's okay. It's it's better than, you know, whatever, than what I think most people would give credit for. Wing of Shoe with the Super Chat. Shimmer Mirror. Three generic for a 2-2 two, two flash. You may cast artifact spells as though they had flash. Yeah, it's pretty hot. You like it? I like it. Yeah. I think it's trash. I don't know, maybe this is good in Commander, but this is not a competitive card whatsoever. No one's going to be playing this 2-2 two, two Flash Mirror. Let me play Artifact Spells. This probably is good in Commander, and I just don't know it. But this is uh, definitely not competitive outside of that. Oh, Salty Rad with the Angel of Serenity. Angel. White, 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 four generic for a 5-6 Flyer. When Angel of Serenity enters the battlefield, you may exile up to three other target creatures from the battlefield and or creature cards from graveyards. When Angel of Serenity leaves the battlefield, return the exiled cards. Hold on. Not yet. Yeah, not yet. We're not done yet. Uh, there we go. Wait, okay, so when Angel of Serenity leaves the battlefield, return the exiled cards to their owner's hands. It's just another angel. It's just another angel? It's not good. It's not bad. It's think, pretty expensive, too. I think you're right. Yeah, it's just another angel. It's not that great. It was a bombshell in standard at the time, but we're not going to ra rank things based on standard. Uh, another super chat. We've got Approaching Calamity. Uh, great city of ass. Let's well, not. It's a, 
I think that's the best card of all time. My brother knows what this card is. Apparently, he knows a lot of the unglued cards. Giant Killer. I think that... Yeah, Giant Killer. White for a 1-2 creature. Uh, it's got white, one generic tap target creature, but it also has chop down. So it, it's an instant attached to us. You can go on an adventure for a white, two generic, destroy target creature with power four or greater. Yeah, that's actually really good. Four or greater. I don't know where this sees play, but I believe it does see play somewhere. I don't know where though. Maybe in a human's deck or something? It's not, I might be wrong. Maybe I'm overrating this card, but I swear that this card has seen play somewhere. At the very least in standard, but uh, I think outside of it as well. Crimson Wolf with the super chat. Mana barbs. I don't know how I'm going to rate this card. Okay, it's a red 3 generic enchantment. Whenever a player taps a land for mana, mana barbs deals one damage to that player. This is amazing. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll give it. For commander, this card is not bad. Like, it does deal a lot of damage. It'll slow down the, it should slow down the players. Maybe at a competitive level, it's not that great. But, like, it is It is a pretty good card. Oh, my God. I like this one. Uh, we've got Arcane Denial from Simcoe. Man, this show's going to keep going on for as long as we get Super Chats. Okay, Arcane Denial. Blue, one generic, instant counter target spell. Its controller may drop to two cards at the beginning of the next turn's upkeep. So you counter their spell, but they're, they're going to get two cards. On the other hand, you draw a card at the beginning of uh, the next turn's upkeep. So you also get to draw a card. Do you draw one card, they get two. Yeah, it's good. Card, yeah. Card drawing all around. It's not, it's not bad. I mean... Uh, there are better cards in formats where it's legal, like Counterspell, but it's actually not that bad of a card. If you need a lot of cards, it's good. Uh, I think it's a very reasonable card to have, even in Commander. And it's any spell. It's any. Yes, that's right. It's any spell, and it's for one blue, one generic. Uh, Ratchet, uh, Ratchets. Thanks so much for the super chat. Near Battle Sphere. Okay, seven generic. It's uh, Katamari Damacy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mirror Construct for a 4-7. When airs the battlefield, create four 1-1 one, one colorless Mirror Artifact creature tokens. When Mirror Battlesphere attacks, you may tap X, untap Mirror you control, and if you do, Mirror Battlesphere gets plus X plus zero until end of turn, where and it deals X damage to the player or planeswalker it's attacking. We once tried to make a deck with this in it. That was, uh, what was that? It was... Mirrotron? Something like that. Something like that. It was mirror someone wanted me to make a mirror deck, so I mean I'm like, well this is one of the better mirrors out there. This is arguably the best mirror out there. And you were able to get the seven mana pretty easily somehow. Well, because it was Tron. Right, yeah. Yeah, of course. So for a Tron deck, this is great. <laughs> yeah, this is, this this is a this is like a really funzy card, but it's not if you have seven mana, you're better off spending it on like Karn or something, like anything else. It's not that great. I mean, it's a fun... Like, even to reanimate, it's like a funzy card to reanimate, but, like, it's not really that competitive. <laughs> can se People are like, can someone super hit Karn Living Legacy? Okay, let's do Karn Living Legacy. Karn Living Legacy. Sometimes you don't always have... I, I'm gonna look out for you guys without the super chats. Karn Living Legacy. Four mana for a four loyalty. A Planeswalker. Plus one. Create a tap Power Stone token. Uh, if you, someone, uh, you get an artifact that, it's like a, how do I put it? It's like a mana rock that you can only tap to play artifact spells. You can go minus one, pay any amount of mana, look at that many cards from the top of your library, then put one of those cards into your hand and the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. And then minus seven, you get an emblem with tap and untap artifact you control. This emblem deals one damage to any target. Yeah, it's a cheap Karn with a pretty good ability. It's not the same as the one where you can take stuff from your sideboard. That's a way better Karn than this. But does this C play anywhere? Like, is this a like outside of standard? I think this is a garbage <clears throat> card. So I, th I I think this is bad. I don't think it's that good. It can't defend itself. Look at that many cards in your library. Then put one of the cards into your hand. The rest. I think that's just too much. I mean, maybe the minus one is not too bad in the right. I guess it's okay. I guess it's okay. Yeah, this sees no play. 
So if you're going for Karns, you go for all the other Karns. All right, I think our last one for today. We've got Crowcore Games. Thanks for all the super chats today. Vivian, champion of the wilds. Vivian. Green, two generic. It's a planeswalker. You may cast creature spells as though they had flash. Plus one until your next turn. Up to one target creature gains vigilance and reach. You can also go minus two. Look at the top three cards of your library. Exile one face down. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in any order. For as long as it remains exiled, you may look at that card and you may cast it if it's a creature spell. For loyalty. Vivian of the Wild. Yeah, sure. It's good. I think this is, like, okay. But I don't know if it's great. I guess well, I'll just give it to you. Like, this is okay. I mean, if I'm playing a commander deck, I guess I play this card. Until your next turn up to one target creature gains vigilance and reach. I don't really like the plus one, to be honest. But, I mean, you get it to at least replace itself with some... Well, probably replace itself, and it's like if you exile a card. I might be wrong here. I don't know. You can always let me know. Okay, this has to be the last one. Revenge of Ravens. Better be a bird in the yard. Okay. Uh, there's some. That's oh, uh, Michael Hitchcock. Okay, black three generic. Enchantment. Whenever a creature attacks you or a planeswalker you control, that creature's control loses one life and you gain one life. I like the reference to the birds movie, so I'm going to give it a thumbs up. Yeah, well. But the card is not very good. Very, very lame. I mean, like, you know, it's a funsy card, but it's not a very powerful card. It's not going to prevent people from attacking you, that's for sure. And with that, if you send me more Super Chats, they're going into the dumpster. Because we got to end the show at some point. Oh, I hope that was fun. If that was a, if this is a good format, well, we'll just make my brother do this every single time he, he's here. Uh, for, uh, what's it called? Uh, for my stream. But anyway, thank you very much for being here today. Uh, we do this Monday to Friday. It's going to move to 11 o'clock a.m. Central Standard Time. I don't know when I'm going to do that. But the day that it's, you're not, I don't start this at 8 a.m., uh, you know that it's changed. It's going to 11 a.m. So be prepared for the new time. Now, that won't be for every single day because some days I just have to leave and I'll, I'll do the stream early in the morning. But the new default time is going to be 11 a.m. Just a heads up. Thank you, everyone, for supporting the channel with your super chats and everyone who's a member on YouTube, also a patron on Patreon. If you want to support the channel, link to that in the description below. But all the super chats and all the support, make sure that I make sure I'm here every single morning for all of you. I do it for the money and I do it for the community, of course, because the most important thing are you guys. I have nothing without you. I'm a nobody. Uh, Where's all the Fs in chats? Huh? The one in Vegas without them. Yes! <laughs> I do all F Miller, Mirror Galvanizer. I told I we gotta stop the show at some point. What about Mirror Galvanizer? Okay. Ugh. Mirror more. Galvanizer. Oops. Mirror Galvanic Black. I guess when you hear this song, you should know that like we're in trouble here. Your super chats are gonna be thrown to the wind. Okay, three mana for a two, two. Other mere creatures you control get plus one, plus oh, one. It's and a also, lord. It's a lord. And you can pay one tap, untap each other mirror you control. Yeah, it's a great card. You know what? It's a, the best mirror, but I think this is also a pretty crappy card still. There's no other mirrors to really... Like, it's the best mirror, I guess. It's the best of the mirrors. Here, for the dumpster. Thanks so much, David. I appreciate it. Remember, you guys, I am nothing without all of you. Without your suggestions, I'm worthless. Uh, so as usual, coffee crew, keep brewing up those coffees, and we'll keep brewing up the magic. Take care of yourselves, and I will see you at the next cup.